Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, I want to apologize for not putting a video out last week. We've just got so many different projects going on, and not all of them are completed. Um, so, what happened is we actually um, noticed that the gauges weren't working on the bus at all. Uh, we didn't have fuel. Um, we didn't have an RPM gauge. Really nothing was working except where the air uh, goes in. Um, that, so the air gauge, but that's controlled by air pressure. It's not controlled by any electrical components on the bus that I know of. Uh, we did have a few lights. So we know that our air, uh, we know that our air light worked, our air warning light. Um, and so, you know, I was just kind of at a loss. I, I don't know. I'm not very good with electrical stuff as far as like, um, uh, you know, gauges and uh, circuits and all that stuff yet. However, I am learning. Um, so what I decided to do, uh, oh, and, and by the way, there's not a lot of information out there on YouTube. Um, that I could find about how to fix your gauge cluster. Um, I found one, uh, a company that was wanting you to send, you know, your gauges off, and they're going to charge you a whole bunch of money to fix them. So I took the gauges out and uh, did a repair on them. And let's go in here and let's see, show you how it turned out here. So this is after the repair. So as you can see the maybe you can see it. Gas gauge is working. RPM gauge is working. Oil pressure. Of course, we can't tell the other gauges yet because the bus hadn't heated up. But you know the battery. Tell the battery's uh, battery's working. So there you go. And what we'll do is we'll show you what we did and how we did it. Stay tuned. So this is the dash um, that I'm working on. Uh, I'm not getting anything on any readings on any of this these gauges except for the air gauge. Of course, that works with these um, these air fittings, and so I'm assuming that just pressure, you know, fixes that. So I'm just going to take this thing apart and see if I can see if I can uh, get it back together. What I'm going to attempt to do is solder the plugs. So these plugs right here are connected to a circuit board. Of course I haven't taken this apart yet, but I'm going to see if see if I could solder these connections on the other side of the board and maybe that'll help. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and take this thing apart. And what we've got is we've got three screws 
up top. Two screws that hold the, these are actually what hold the top of the dash in. So this is pretty easy to get out by the way. So there's two screws here, one here, one here. They come out. Then you just push these tabs down on the top right here. And the top releases. And then what you have to do is get back here with a wrench, undo the air lines, make sure there's no air in them or your lines are going to do like that. And then, uh, then you unclip unclip and unclip and that's it so it's three clips two airlines to get the dash out but what I'm going to do go ahead and remove these screws right here screws separate so I know what goes where so here we have it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the these boards one by one from the circ from the housing here I'm gonna start with this middle one because I know that this plug right here this plug right here is the main wiring harness. And it looks like that there's two wires that hook up to the odometer and the hour meter and those are just clip in right here same thing with this one I'm just gonna unclip it and then I'm just gonna pull through those holes like so like so so I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm going after is this green plug right here on the on the back side what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check all these little I don't know if the cameras in focus here but I'm gonna check all these little uh, pins to make sure there's no corrosion or cracking or anything and then I'm just gonna take my soldering gun and a little bit of a little bit of solder and I'm just gonna put a dab on each one of these just in case that's the problem I don't know if it is or not but that may help it I don't know we'll see and by the way I wanted to show that the way that this came off of the other side actually is that 
there's some Velcro here and here. And so, actually, this is just Velcroed on. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on and Velcro it down. That way I'm protecting my protecting my gauges. I don't want to mess with them too much. Right now I'm just checking to see if there's any dirt or debris or anything that I need to be concerned about. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take a little piece of sandpaper or something and I'm going to try to clean these little terminals in here. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and solder also, but just in case these contacts are, are corroded or dirty and that's what's causing it, I'm going to just try to, try to work on that first. solder on each one of those connections because that's what corresponds with this main power plug so hopefully if there's any dead connections in there that will fix it but I'm not an electrician so <laughs> we're gonna we don't really know what we're doing 100% here. But it's worth a try, you know?
right guys I have no idea if that worked did anything messed it up or whatever we'll see time to put it back together see a lot of this but I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, dash and we're gonna see see if any of that worked so as you guys know like I said, we've got some plugs here, three plugs. So I've got this plug that's got to pop in here. First, then I've got this green plug that's going to pop into my where we soldered. Now we got this. Let me see if I can show you what where it's at. Okay, so we got the green plug back there. Not sure if you can see it. You got this white plug right here. And then on this side you've got a yellow plug back there. Now I've got to take the air lines. And I've got to reconnect them. Okay. Always put your screws back where you got them from and then you'll never lose them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this in where the screws on the bottom match the holes that they go into. And then these tabs pop right in the top like that. Then I'm gonna tighten these puppies down.
Now remember, I had no zero gauges before this. So let's see what let's see what pops. Uh -oh. Let me turn the let me shut that garage door back there. Let me shut the back door so that the alarm doesn't go off on us. And let's see what happens. Oh, look at that, I got fuel. I got battery. See if the RPM works. Yep. Very cool. Well, there you go. I don't know if the miles per hour work right now because I'm not going anywhere, but before I had nothing on here. I had no I had no fuel. I didn't even know how much I had in the tank. Sweet!